It is time to focus our attention on the next iPads, but before we can really think about the hardware, we really have to focus on the next mobile operating system from Apple, and that is gonna be purportedly iOS 11, which we are expecting to be unveiled over at WWDC on that stage, come San Jose towards the beginning of June. Now, typically, when it comes to new hardware, we're expecting to see new acceleration, new graphics processors, new a processors from Apple. Under the hood, we expect to see improvements across the board. Question at the end of the day is, what will the software be with Google's Android operating system taking a big leap with Nougat? Will Apple be able to pull ahead? And I think they will. So the question is, what are our must-haves for the next operating system from Apple iOS 11? Let's start with our number one must-have for this next iOS 11 operating system from Apple. And that is undoubtedly, without a doubt, drag and drop between apps. Now, when I say drag and drop between apps, I'm not talking about pressing and holding, looking for a contextual menu, trying to figure out where to open something, sometimes having to enable it to actually open it in device. No, 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 no. I'm talking about being able to pull the app on the side, find what you wanna bring in here, for example, Microsoft Word, and drag this file directly from mail into Word to open that document. That's what's drag and drop between apps. And that is an absolute must have when it comes to this next operating system. I mean, come on, Apple. This has been the norm when it comes to any basic operating system. And if you're gonna put this device up against any other computer and you're gonna do that in marketing and you're gonna try and get people to buy this device over full-fledged computers in the same form factor, you're gonna have to deliver this major feature, which is drag and drop between apps. This leads us into our number two must have, which is a customizable control center. Apple, we know that you think you know what we wanna have in our control center. You think that we wanna be able to control all these items here, that's great. But what about the user that wants to customize what they wanna control? They don't necessarily want to be able to turn just these items on and off. They wanna be able to customize what's going to appear here and what they can control in their device. It's time to let the user have a little bit more control of your operating system so that we can decide what we wanna see in our control center. I think it's just about time. Now this leads me to our third and final must have. And this one is pretty simple. Better notifications. These days, I get so many notifications in my operating system that it, it, it's, it's almost difficult to figure out what's what. They keep piling on top of each other and you just can't figure out what notification came in when. I mean, how many times do you get notifications, for example, for your latest piece of email and realize, oh my God, I missed a notification from Slack. How on earth am I gonna do anything with that? We're talking about small, find out enhancements that are gonna make our experience that much better when it comes to notifications, especially on the business side. So what are your must-haves? You've heard our three must-haves but iOS 11 is around the corner and you must have some ideas yourself. Share them with us in the comments here. Email contact at yourtechreport.com. Follow us on Twitter at yourtechreport. However you want to get in touch with us, do share your ideas. Maybe you agree with us. Maybe you disagree. Let us know and we will guarantee talk about this on an upcoming Sirius XM show. Don't forget to tune in Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, Sirius XM channel 167.